All right, y'all, we are jumping straight into this Valentine's Day makeup look. I am prepping my eyelids using concealer, and today I'm gonna to be using the Juvia's Place The Berries Palette. You guys, the first color that I'm using is this deep, beautiful purple plum shade, and I'm using a fluffy blending eyeshadow brush to pack this eyeshadow all over the eyelid, and I'm just adding a little bit more color at a time, and we're gonna cover the entire eyelid up to the crease with this purple shade. The next color that I'm using is this beautiful hot pink eyeshadow and this time I'm going to be using a smaller eyeshadow brush to stamp this pink color over top of the purple shade that we first applied and I'm literally just stamping or packing this pink color over top of the purple and next I'm going to be using a fluffy eyeshadow brush to blend those two colors together and the main step right here is just blending both of those colors together. Now it is time for my favorite part. We're gonna cut that crease and I'm using my e.l.f. Camero Concealer in Fair Rose to cut my crease. And I'm also going to be using one of my paint brushes to stamp out my cut crease. And if you guys want a more detailed on how to do a cut crease, make sure that you comment that down below. Now once I have my cut crease to my liking, I'm first going to close off the outer corner using that same purple plum shade that we first applied and I'm using a flat eyeshadow brush to pack that eyeshadow on the outer corners. And then I'm going to move on to the second color that we used which was that bright hot pink shade. Now I'm going to be taking a bright golden shimmery eyeshadow from the Morphe 35 Fierce by Nature palette and I'm placing that with another flat eyeshadow brush in the middle of my eyelid which is going to create that halo effect, that nice pop of glitter and gold right in the middle. So after I have applied that color I'm going to go back in with a flat eyeshadow brush to apply the pink color that we applied after the purple and I'm just going to be blending all of those colors together so the main thing is to blend y'all blend 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 like your life depends on it sis okay so I'm just going back and forth and as I get towards the inner corner of my eye I'm using a smaller brush as well And you guys, today we are experimenting with the J. La Rue Glitter Pigments. I will have all the products listed down below. But you guys, this glitter was popping, okay? Like, look how beautiful that glitter pigment is. And I mainly focused the glitter on the middle to kind of create that halo effect on top of that gold eyeshadow. And next, we are jumping straight into the face. So for the face today, I am priming using my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is my favorite primer, and I'm also going in with the Mary Kay Oil Mattifier on the spaces where I get really, really oily, which is my nose, my forehead, and the bottom of my chin. And this combination right here is gonna have me set all day long. And today I'm gonna be mixing two foundations from the NYX 24 Hour Foundation. I'm gonna be going in with the color Sienna and Nutmeg. So I'm using a brush to apply Sienna on the outer portion of my face and then I'm going to be applying Nutmeg towards the middle. And the reason why I'm using two different foundations is because I'm more in my winter complexion right now so the middle of my face is a lot brighter, a little bit brighter than the outer portion of my face which gets the most tan in the summertime. So it may look like I'm already pre-highlighting which is definitely gonna help me out so that way I won't have to use as much concealer later on. So if you want to use less product, this is definitely a way to do that by using a lighter foundation, literally a shade lighter in the middle of your face, and then using a, a shadow that is 
a shadow, a shade that is more closer to your complexion on the outside of your face. And then you guys are going to see once I blend these two foundations together, baby, it just looks like one flawless complexion. So to blend out my foundation, I am going to be using the Real Techniques Instapop Face Brush. You guys, I love this brush. I love using this brush just because it's so easy to get in those creases and crevices around your face. And it just blends everything together flawlessly. So I'm just using patting motions. I know it may look like I'm swiping across my face, but you guys, no swiping. Pat, 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 no swiping, okay? And the reason why you want to use padding motions is so that way you don't create any streaks or lines in your products. So now I'm going to be highlighting. I'm going to be using two concealers to highlight the face. I'm going to first be using the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in Walnut. This one is about one to two shades lighter than me, but it has a more yellow undertone. I do like a more yellow highlight for myself. And I'm just applying this underneath the eyes, on the bridge of my nose, a little bit on the forehead and the chin. And before I blend out my concealer, I am going to be using my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray to kind of set the concealer in place. And you do want to let that concealer sit a little bit before you blend it out. That is going to give you a more full coverage look. And I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Blending Sponge. Actually, this one is specifically for concealer, I think. I am going to link that one down below as well. And I'm just going to be blending out this concealer underneath my eyes. And I'm making sure that I'm not going past where I placed it. So I'm blending the concealer upward and not downward. And once I have the concealer blended out, I am going to go back in and add another concealer just underneath the eyes so that way we can get that nice bright under eye. And I like to take the remaining concealer and go over my upper lip just because I don't like to draw too much attention to that area, but I do wanna have that nice balance of that highlight as well. And next, I'm going in with that other brightening concealer. This one is actually from Mary Kay. I really do like the consistency of this concealer. It just blends out like a butter, baby, okay? And this time, I'm actually using one of my Real Techniques brushes. I am going to link this one down below as well to blend that concealer underneath my eyes. I like it because the shape and size of it fits right underneath the creases of my eyes. And it just helps me so that when my eye makeup does not crease. So I really do love this brush, especially for blending out under eye concealer. And I'm just gonna go back with the sponge to just further blend both of those two concealer shades together. And now I'm gonna be setting everywhere that I highlighted. So I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I'm mixing that with the Sasha Buttercup Powder and Banana as well. So that way I can have a warm highlight. So that way it doesn't look too bright. And today, you guys, your girl is contouring. I am contouring. And I am going to link the concealer that I used. I believe this is one of the Nika K concealers. And I'm also using another Real Techniques brush to blend that concealer out. And today, you guys, I am doing a ombre lip. So I'm doing a purple, a nice plum purple on the outside. And I'm going in the middle of my lips with a pink lipstick. So here are the final results of this halo cut crease, just full glam makeup look. And you guys, I must say, your girl outdid herself with this one, okay? Like, I am feeling this makeup look all the way live. Like, this is probably hands down one of the best makeup looks I've done in a while. So I'm just super duper excited to how this look came out. I literally did everything contour, cream contour. We bronzed, we added a little bit of blush. We did it all today in this video, so I'm just super duper excited. Um, just how you guys are gonna react to this look. And you guys, I am sorry my camera did cut off on me, um, but I did include the lip combination as well. And you guys, let me know if you like this mixture of the magenta lip to kind of match the pink, or would you guys have wanted to see a purple lip? Definitely let me know down in the comments. I was thinking about purple, but I just didn't wanna make it too dark and vampy so y'all let me know in the comments if you are feeling the pink lip or if I should have did a purple y'all let me know 
but other than that i'm really feeling this look and oh my gosh you guys this was the first time that i tried the j la rule glitter pigment and when i say top tier that glitter pigment is top tier okay i did not have to add any eyelash glue or anything this glitter is just sticking and that is just amazing it really does elevate the look the look itself already was just fabulous without the glitter, but the glitter just took it from like a 9 to a 10. So I'm super duper excited just to play with these glitters some more for you guys. So y'all let me know what other types of looks that you guys want me to create. And I'm just super duper excited because this look just came out bomb-tastic. Like, bomb-tastic. It's fantastic and it's bomb. Bomb-tastic. That's what this look is giving, okay? I'm just... Feeling myself, feeling myself, okay. Hair flip, got to. But, um, I don't. I'm just sad I gotta take it off. But, you all, that is all that I have for this beginner friendly halo cut crease full glam makeup look. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new. Do not forget to drop me a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. And most importantly, do not forget to share this video with your friends so that way we all can look fabulous together. And you guys already know what to do. Stay beautiful, stay blessed, stay safe, and stay popping. And I will catch y'all in my next video. Bye.